well to Vancouver now where an area man is speaking out after cyber criminals hacked his bank account and stole thousands of dollars. Now when he complained to the bank it would not take any responsibility until, until our Go Public team got involved. The man is one of more than 200 people who have told Go Public they are victims of online bank fraud. Our Erica Johnson has the details. GoPublic was contacted by a Scotiabank customer in Surrey, just outside Vancouver. Last February, Sanjeet Lidhar got a call from his bank telling him someone had transferred $3,000 out of his account. Anything you have could be taken away and, and it just, you can't do anything about it. Scotiabank said it would investigate, but when Lidhar didn't hear back from the bank after two weeks, he paid his local branch a visit. While he was inside the bank, thieves stole another 2000 I didn't feel safe at all, wondering, well, what could I do now? Uh, money's gone and uh, no one's there to help me. So that one there. Asking where your money has gone? He filed a complaint asking for his money back, but Scotiabank told him the transactions were done using an IP address that Lidhar had an extensive history with. Cybersecurity experts say hackers can infect someone's computer and use that person's IP address to access their bank account. But Scotiabank wouldn't budge until GoPublic contacted the bank. It eventually reimbursed its customer. A security advisor with an international team of investigators who track cybersecurity threats says hackers aren't just targeting customers' bank accounts. We have a different type of attack of uh, cybercrime groups that will invade the bank's actual infrastructure and get into their uh, payment system and start compromising them internally. This public policy researcher says it's time the banks take a page from the UK where financial institutions are liable when customers lose money to hackers. How does it make sense to blame the people who are using the tool that's given to them and are then victimized by the tool? We didn't build it, we're told to use it, and the persons or groups or organizations that are building these tools have to accept liability for their own failures. We asked the Canadian Bankers Association whether banks would consider paying out when hackers break into people's accounts and steal their money. The CBA wouldn't address that question, but said protecting people's accounts is their top priority. Erica Johnson, CBC News, Vancouver.